Huen Sang, also known as Xuanzang, was a renowned Chinese Buddhist monk, scholar, and traveler who journeyed to India during the 7th century. His primary reason for visiting India was to deepen his understanding of Buddhism and to collect Buddhist scriptures. He traveled along the Silk Road, crossing through treacherous terrain and facing various challenges to reach India. In today's episode of Journey Through Time, we embark on an exploration of the captivating story and historical journey of Huen Sang. Born in the bustling city of Luoyang, China, in 602 AD, he would later relocate to Chang'an, present-day Xi'an in 618 AD, at the tender age of 16. This move brought him to the heart of the Tang dynasty, the ruling power at the time. Chang'an, renowned for its historical significance, is also home to the awe-inspiring terracotta army, a testament to the ingenuity and artistry of ancient China. Huen Sang's birth in Luoyang played a significant role in shaping his early life and upbringing. Growing up in a city with a rich Buddhist heritage and scholarly traditions likely influenced his interest in Buddhism and his eventual decision to embark on his famous pilgrimage to India to study Buddhist scriptures and deepen his understanding of the faith. Upon moving to Xi'an, Huen Sang likely pursued his studies further and may have become affiliated with Buddhist institutions in the city. Xi'an was a center of learning and religious activity with numerous Buddhist monasteries, temples and scholars. It was also a hub of international trade and cultural exchange, connecting China with Central Asia and beyond along the Silk Road. As a child, Huen Sang was greatly influenced by the Buddhist teachings. He was particularly drawn to the ideals of compassion, wisdom and enlightenment espoused by Buddhism. His passion for the religion only grew stronger as he delved deeper into its scriptures and doctrines. Huen Sang's reasons for visiting India were deeply rooted in his upbringing and his fervent dedication to Buddhism. With the support of Emperor Taizong, a known advocate of Buddhism and supporter of Buddhist missions abroad, Huen Sang secured approval for his pilgrimage to India. The emperor granted Huen Sang permission and provided essential resources and provisions for his journey. This imperial backing not only eased Huen Sang's travel arrangements, but also ensured his safety and protection during his pilgrimage. His path to India was arduous and filled with challenges, but his determination to reach the birthplace of Buddhism drove him forward. Huen Sang began his journey from Chang'an, the capital of the Tang dynasty. He departed around 629 AD, accompanied by a small group of fellow monks and translators. Huen Sang traveled westward along the Silk Road, passing through the deserts and oases of Central Asia. He faced dangers such as bandits, harsh weather, and difficult terrain along this route. Huen Sang stopped at various cities along the Silk Road, like Yumen, Angsi, Hotan, etc. But he paused his journey at Samarkand in present-day Uzbekistan, where he studied Buddhist scriptures and philosophy under renowned masters for about two years. In his continuing journey southward, Huen Sang crossed into Afghanistan and navigated the formidable Hindu Kush mountains. He ventured into Gandhara, a significant center of Buddhism. During his time in Gandhara, Huen Sang visited numerous monasteries and sacred sites, among which was Taxila. Although the precise duration of his stay at Taxila remains undocumented, it is believed to have spanned more than a couple of years. Continuing his eastward expedition, Huen Sang traversed the picturesque landscapes of Kashmir and the Punjab region. Along the way, he diligently visited numerous monasteries and Buddhist communities, eagerly absorbing the rich cultural and spiritual heritage of the region. His journey culminated at the Ganges Valley, the hallowed heartland of Buddhism in India. 
It was here that he embarked upon a profound pilgrimage, visiting revered sites, including the renowned Nalanda. Arriving in Nalanda in the year 637 AD, Huen Sang immersed himself in the intellectual and spiritual life of the great Buddhist university. Engaging in scholarly debates and meticulously collecting sacred scriptures, he spent several fruitful years at Nalanda, enriching his knowledge and contributing to the dissemination of Buddhist teachings. During his travels through the Punjab region, Huen Sang visited the court of the great king Arshavardhana, one of the mightiest rulers of ancient India. Here, he engaged in scholarly discussions, gaining the king's patronage and leaving a lasting impression on the intellectual and political landscape of ancient India. The record of this meeting found in Huen Sang's travelogue offers valuable insights into the culture and history of the time. During his stay at Nalanda, he visited several nearby places. He visited Bodhgaya, the site of the Bodhi tree, under which Buddha attained enlightenment. Then, Yuen Sang visited Sarnath, where the Buddha delivered his first sermon after attaining enlightenment. He journeyed to Kapilavastu, the birthplace of the Buddha. Yuen Sang traveled to Varanasi, one of the oldest continuously inhabited cities in the world and a significant center of Buddhism. We have made a very interesting video on this ancient city. The link to the video will be provided in the description box. He also visited other important sites along the Ganges River. After several years spent in India, Huen Sang embarked on his return journey to China in 642, laden with a treasure trove of Buddhist scriptures and a wealth of knowledge. Huen Sang's long Indian sojourn was not merely a pilgrimage, but a confluence of spiritual, intellectual, and cultural quests. The comprehensive account of his travels, titled Great Tang Records on the Western Regions, offers an invaluable window into the geography and societal fabric of the regions and sites he encountered in India. After a remarkable 16-year voyage to India, the renowned traveller Hu N. Sang triumphantly concluded his arduous journey by setting foot in the vibrant city of Chang'an, China, in early 645 CE. Hu N. Sang's pilgrimage to India had a profound impact on the transmission of Buddhism to East Asia. His detailed accounts of Indian society, culture, and Buddhist teachings provided invaluable insights to scholars and practitioners in China and beyond. Huen Sang's translations of Buddhist scriptures into Chinese played a crucial role in the development of Buddhism in East Asia. In Huen Sang's insatiable quest for knowledge and enlightenment, we find a timeless yearning that transcends borders and epochs. Just as he embarked on his perilous journey across vast lands to seek wisdom, so too does the Journey Through Time YouTube channel aspire to traverse the depths of history, unlocking the treasures of the past for the curious minds of today. Join us as we embark on this timeless voyage where the past meets the present and the echoes of history resonate with the beating of our own hearts. Welcome to the journey through time.